Alex Jones gave a cryptic interview that I want to share with you. Uh, this, this is hard to watch. This really creeped me out. Alex, if you know everything that you say you know and you got their plans, why are you still alive? Well, they're murdering my name. They're assassinating me. Uh, yeah, but you've said Hillary Clinton's, you know, her plan goes and, you know, all these people that get close to her. So if you're opposing the most powerful Democrat in the marketplace, let's just say. Because they thought I was a joke, like a poison, I titrated it. I, and it's the way God worked. It wasn't me. We built up. They thought it was a joke. They used us against Trump. They kept thinking they were winning. And now when the poison, the truth, is so strong, when the big dose hits them, they already have figured it out. And so I'm just over there. I'm the globalist lethal injection. And I, I'm ready to die. So let's just be clear. I've already won. This is all gravy from this point on. So they, I'm already in the system. I've already won. And they thought it was a joke. And now they just took their death dose. Really, I'm going to kill the New World Order. That's why they call me violent. That's why they hate me. I'm not physically hurting anybody. But the information is the end. It's their end of days. You and think so? No one can reverse it now. Yeah, no, it's true. Because humanity wants to live. And they're the ones doing this. I studied their papers. I studied their program. And you ask why they're so afraid? They're so afraid because I've got their number. And I'm not afraid to die. So that's it. That answers your question. So if that's where you're at, who cares if you ever get back on social media? I don't. You really don't? The message, the transmission, everything else now is gravy. Everything else is just getting ready to meet God. Whatever. And, and be a real man, I got to take my licks, I'm ready. Everything else now is take my licks. Is that why you're That means my kids got to take the licks, my family's got to take the licks, and I got to take the licks. And I'm ready to take the licks. So let's get it going here. Somebody with God forever, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm taking my legs. How are you doing emotionally right now? I love you, it. Yeah, you're good. I'm close, very, close to, very close to God. Very close to God. Very close. Yeah. In fact, I always feel my heart and stomach knots in my bones. Like, like every moment is like close to God. I, I can't explain it. I'm so close to God right now. I, Are you in prayer mode right now? Are you, are you speaking all the no, time? Are, are I'm, you, I just feel are good. Peace? I mean, are you relaxed? I am at peace. I am at now, I'm now at peace. I'm now at peace. It's not my name or who I am. The enemy knows I love God. I love Jesus. And so I've already passed on. And that's why the enemy hates me because I'm well beyond their grasp now. Far beyond their grasp. I just pray that God will have mercy on my children, but I trust God. So it's God's will now. What the fuck was that? That was really weird. Um, that was really weird. The I'm ready to die line is like, yo, dude, it's not that serious. Relax. Uh, that's. I don't know what to make of that, because uh, it's Alex Jones, so there's always a chance he's putting on an act for the camera, because oftentimes it's what he does. In fact, that's literally what he argued in court. Uh, he said, oh, it's, I'm bas I just basically I put on an act, so I'm like an actor. Um, so there's that possibility, but then there's also the possibility that that's not the case, and um, he seems like, I don't know, maybe suicidal, you know, and that's that's... Listen, as much as I hate Alex Jones, that's not... I, I really hope he gets help because he seems like he's genuinely off and he needs the help. So the I'm ready to die line is really... It's unsettling, to say the least. And he repeats it a bunch of times. And then we cross the line into outright delusion when he talks about, well, I'm getting ready to meet God. I'm very close to God. He, I could feel it in my bones. I'm getting closer and closer to God every second. Dude, that doesn't mean anything. Those are the ramblings of a madman. That's what that is. Again, I hope the dude gets help. I, the, You know, one of the problems is, among many problems, 
is that he surrounded himself with yes men so that whenever he does anything and and has any thought people are like oh alex that's brilliant that's such a good idea oh totally sandy hook uh inside job government did it uh, run with that brilliant and um you know, at, at a certain point, it looks like a guy like this needs somebody to draw some lines in the sand and be like, no, stop, you're wrong, um, you need help, and let's get you that help. But I don't think anybody around him does that because he's created a little bit of a cult of personality in his immediate vicinity. So who's going to call him out? It, it's, it's not pretty, man. That's not pretty. And we've seen the all the clips of him screaming and yelling and going nuts and making no sense. And this is like, it's almost like he's going through the, the what is it called? The stages of mourning or whatever it is. There's like uh, disbelief, I guess denial. I, f I forget the stages. I'll look it up. The stages of mourning. Because that's what it looks like he's going through. Do you guys know the thing I'm talking about? Stages of of grief. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. So it looks like he went through, already went went through denial, then he went through anger, then he probably went through bargaining, and he's either in depression or acceptance at this point. But it looks like, it looks like he's going through these, and this might all be pop psychology bullshit, but I'm just saying that's the appearance of, on the outside. It looks like he's gone through all this stuff. And when he says, I'm very close to God, that also is a red flag because I feel like with Alex, you never know. Like, is he actually hearing voices in his head that he thinks are, it's God? I really hope not, man. And remember, just I'm just saying, this dude's armed to the teeth also. he's He's got so many uh, different kinds of guns and he seems unstable. I mean, he's been unstable for a while, but this is like a new level of it. And then the final thing I'll bring up is, he said at one point, they're murdering my name. And my reaction to that would be, Alex, you and I both know, everybody knows, you murdered your own name. Now, I've been clear, I, I did not agree with the, basically, I, what I would call the internet death penalty has been handed out to Alex Jones. Um, he's been kicked off of like every influential... Uh, social media platform. Now, just the other day, PayPal was like, okay, we're donezo with you. So, I mean, he is, I, I think all that's left is just InfoWars. So just his own website. Um, so, every everybody said, we're done with you. We don't want to do business with you. Now, I've argued that I think we should have um, the social media platforms regulated as public utilities, and that would mean free speech protections apply. And perhaps even in that scenario, Alex may have been kicked off because uh, as long as there's some open, transparent process and you can sort of prove that he did something like defamation of character, well, in that instance, then even then, even with free speech protections, he might have been booted from these platforms. And honestly, in that situation, that would be fine as long as we have the open and transparent process and it's proven. But we don't have that open and transparent process, and these aren't regulated as public utilities, so the way in which they got rid of him is something I object to on principle. Um, but, so he was kicked off all those platforms. I don't agree with that. But now, it looks like he's trying to say, well, it was, it's, all, it's all everybody else's fault. No, dude, you murdered your own name. You know, uh, I mean, to, to call the Sandy Hook shooting a conspiracy... And, and by the way, they do this with every fucking shooting, every mass shooting, every prominent mass shooting. They act like, oh, that's that's the government. That's, but that's not true. And you know it's not true because what do they give for motive? Well, what did he say for Sandy Hook? He says, oh, this is Obama. This is what Obama's going to use in order to take everybody's guns. Well, then how do you respond, Alex, to the fact that they didn't fucking do that? Perhaps your motive is wrong and perhaps it wasn't a fucking conspiracy. So when you say they, they're they murdering my name, because the guy's asking, hey, why haven't they physically murdered you? Well, Alex is like, well, they murdered, they're murdering my name. No, you kind of murdered your own name, bro. That's what happened. You said so many things that were so over the top and so ridiculous that, uh, you know, any reasonable person wouldn't look at you as a serious person. And listen, that doesn't mean that there wasn't a time in the past where Jones was right about some stuff. You know, he was right about the Patriot Act. 
He was right about NSA spying. There was a time when he was right about the wars, and he would talk about that on a regular basis. But now he's, uh, you know, Trump's fluffer, and Trump never does anything wrong, and it's always play defense for Daddy Trump. And you mix that in with a healthy dose of every fucking thing ever is a conspiracy, and you get a guy like Jones here, where he's a broken man. But in all seriousness, I hope he gets help, because the I'm ready to die stuff, uh, I'm getting ready to meet God, I'm very close to God. Even if you take those comments just a little bit seriously, that means that um, this is a dangerous situation. He might be a danger to himself, he might be a danger to others, but either way, guys, he's, my point is he's given off the signals. He really is. He's given off the signals here of like, oh, something's wrong, something's wrong. Uh, it reminds me of, and this is an analogy, so relax. It's, I'm not saying it's apples to apples. But, like, I would guess that a guy like Chris Benoit, who did what he did, all the wrestling fans will know what I'm talking about. I would guess that a guy like Chris Benoit gave off even fewer signals. Like, he didn't, he wasn't giving off as many signals as Alex Jones, so... Somebody get this guy help, bro. Somebody get this guy help. And I'm not just saying that. I'm not just covering this for entertainment purposes. But it's getting creepy. It's getting cryptic. And something needs to be done.